Roll VT. I always want to say that. Ah, <laughs> Muz loses two points. Ah! Okay. She got the easy question. What? You knew that one, but you didn't know the doctor's <laughs> one. It's easy because you knew it. Three, two, one. National speed limit. You've got to beat 7,300. It's coming home for Georgina. It's coming home. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Survive. <laughs> Five contestants on Clapham Common, ready to battle it out for a £50 cash prize in episode one of the Big Fat Theory Quiz. What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? Welcome to the Big Fat Theory Quiz. I'm here joined with... Georgina. Lola. Moose. And we're all here to win one £50 note. Who's going to get it? Me. me. Yeah, they mean me. <laughs> One of these people will be winning real money thanks to the driving test success for one app. Comment below who you think it's going to be and watch to the end to see if you were right. What is up guys? Welcome to a glorious day on Clapham Common. We are here for the Big Fat Theory quiz. These are our contestants. This is the quiz. Let's see who's going to win. Hi guys, my name's Leon. I'm 21 years old. I'm Georgina. I'm from Bexley and I'm 17 years old. Hi, my name is Sarah and this is my son, Kamari. Hi, my name is Moose. I'm from Morden. Uh, I'm 28 years old. Hi, my name's Lola. I'm 17 and I'm from Bexley. This is my first time being like, introduced to um, learning theory and um, I've never done a theory test I've never looked at any of the warning signs or anything so this is my first time it'll be very interesting to see how this goes this is round one the elimination round I'm going to ask each contestant a question if they know the answer they can answer it and get two points if they get it wrong though they lose two points if they don't think that they know the answer, they can pass the question along. If the person they pass it to gets the question right, then they lose a point. And the person who's answered it correctly gets two points. Just get the questions right, guys. Don't, don't flop it, just get the questions right. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so starting with you, Georgina. Number one, you are at a junction controlled by traffic lights. When should you wait at a green light? A, when you think the lights may be about to change. B, when you intend to turn right. C, when pedestrians are waiting to cross, or D, when your exit from the junction is blocked? A. When you think the lights may be about to change? Yeah. Yeah. You lose two points. The answer is D, when your exit from the junction is blocked. If you enter a junction and the junction is blocked, then you're going to be there in the middle, blocking off other traffic. Lola, a police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes its headlights and points to the left? A, pull up on the left. B, move over to the left. C, stop immediately. Or D, turn left at the next junction. I'm going to answer and say A. Okay. Then you're saying pull up on the left. Yeah. That is correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leon. Yeah. Ready? Probably. I haven't passed my driving test, unfortunately, um, but it's soon to come, soon to come, don't worry. I'll see you on the roads. DVSA, if you're watching this, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> um, so my interests are currently, I love cars, as always, that's why I'm here. Um, I also like going to the gym, spending time with friends, and I just love to be around people and my friends and just enjoy it, man, survive. <laughs> Question three, what should you do if a vehicle pulls out in front of you at a junction? A, flash your headlights and drive up close behind. B, swerve past it and sound your horn. C, slow down and be ready to stop. Or D, accelerate past it immediately. So I'm gonna answer this, I'm gonna say C. Okay, slow down and be ready to stop is correct. Two points to Leon. Thank you. Question four, Sarah. You are driving behind a large goods vehicle what should you do if it signals left but steers to the right? A, overtake it on the right, slow down and let the vehicle turn, drive on keeping to the left, or hold your speed and sound your horn? Um, I'm gonna answer to hold back and let the vehicle turn. Correct. Two points for Sarah. Well done. Okay, Muz. Yes. Last one. <laughs> Question five, what's the maximum fine for driving or riding without insurance? A, unlimited. B, a thousand. C, five thousand. D, five hundred. Are you gonna answer this one? I'm gonna answer. Or pass it along? I'm gonna 
answer it. Uh, a. A, unlimited. What's the answer? You wrote these questions. <laughs> Is it unlimited? Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't put that in the video. You're going to put it in now because that'll be funny. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> Two points to Muz. I, I was going to think of 1,000. Oh, okay. I what? thought it was going to be 1,000. I was like, nah, oh, it's just 1k. Yeah, here yeah. you go. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so in terms of the competition, I feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. Yeah. I'm ready for it. I'm quite, I'm not going to say that I'm going to blitz it, but I'm ready for it, that's all. I just recently passed my test, passed it on the 14th of June. If anyone's doing their theory, uh, I did my theory a few months ago, and I used uh, the uh, four-in-one app. Uh, it's got good content in there. You've Literally, if you just go over that, and repeat time and time again, just going through that content, you'll ace it. Georgina, yeah. you really need to get this one right now. Okay, so question six, what type of crossing allows cyclists to ride across while pedestrians are also crossing? Is it A, a toucan crossing, B, a puffin crossing, C, a zebra crossing, or D, a pegasus crossing? I'm gonna answer this one and I'm gonna go with A. It's a toucan crossing, yes. So you've gained two points. You might still be in the game. Um, it's been a while since I've touched theory, I'm not going to lie. So, I mean, I'm OK. I feel right. Like, out of 10, probably like seven in terms of confidence. So I've got a Corsa, a Vauxhall Corsa. So it's an 07 plate. Um, I've been driving in that, so I'm like comfortable with that. Um, my dream car would probably be like a Lexus RX. Yeah, aiming high, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for Lola. When should you leave a two second gap between your vehicle and the vehicle in front? Is it A, when it's raining? B, when it's foggy? C, when it's dry? Or D, when it's icy? I'm going to say when it's icy. Okay, D, when it's icy. Yeah. Two second gap is for when it's dry. In ice, you should leave a 10 second gap. You've got minus two points there. There's going to be a sound effect. It's going to be sound <laughs> Um Question eight, Leon. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? Is it A, a doctor's car, B, a fire engine, C, an ambulance, or D, a road gritter? I'm going to say... I think Muz knows this one. Uh... Muz is whispering. He thinks he knows. Does Leon know though? A green, green. Green flashing light. What's the options again? A, a doctor's car, B, a fire engine, C, an ambulance, or a road gritter. I'm gonna say A, a doctor's car. Okay, doctor's car. Anyone know whether that's correct or not? It is. It is, that is correct. It's a doctor's car. I think maybe if I do make it to the last round, I might struggle a bit, because I did struggle with quite a few of the, the harder questions, but I think with road signs, I think, I'll be pretty much okay because I know them pretty well. I used the Theory 4-in-1 app um, and I did the Pass Guarantee um, app and I did pretty much everything on the app and I made sure I got consecutive uh, passes continuously. So I think you have to get that five, you have to get that five times consecutively and then for the Hazard Perception I did the same thing. I just made sure I did all the practice for all the clips, like every single clip on the app and then I went and did the um, Hazard Perceptions and I kept getting consecutively high marks for all of them. Nine, Sarah, ready? Yeah. Okay. You are approaching a zebra crossing. What should you do if pedestrians are waiting to cross? Okay. A, use your headlights to indicate that they can cross. B, wave at them to cross the road. C, give way to older and infirm people only. Or D, slow down and prepare to stop. Um, I'm going to answer D, prepare to stop. Brilliant. It is D. That is the correct answer. Two more points for Sarah. This is looking tight, guys. Okay. She got the easy question. She got the easy question. What, you knew that one, but you didn't know the question. <laughs> it's easy because you knew it. Hey, you know yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because he gave me the stupid answer, which I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, say the stupid, stupid answer. answer. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice calm. Don't worry. Don't worry. Last question of the elimination round goes to Muz. Number 10. When may you overtake another vehicle on the left? Oui. Oh. A. When the vehicle in front is signalling to turn left. B, when a slower moving vehicle is travelling in the right lane. C, when you're on a one-way street. Or D, when approaching a motorway slip road where you'll be turning off the motorway. 
Uh, I'm going to answer it with D. Motorway, honestly. That's my final answer. Moose loses two points! Ah! 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 Was it B? I was so confident! It was C, wasn't it? Was it slow? Was it, was it when yeah. you were on the one way street? On the one way street. Because on the one way street, you could be turning right, you could be going left. There's no undertaking or overtaking on a one way street. When you're on a motorway, on a slip road, you're still in the either the left lane, the overtaking lane, or the overtaking lane, or the another overtaking lane. You can still never undertake. <laughs> You knew that yeah. one? Yeah, I was going to say that. Oh, no. Lola, I should have got that one. OK, so Muz, minus two points. I passed my theory on the fifth time, so that's not what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> For those that's wanting to pass first time, trust me, you will. But unfortunately, I passed my fifth time. Um, my theory was hard because at the end of the day, like I was memorising the questions instead of understanding what the questions actually were asking me to do. Um, I feel like I'm going to win because at the end of the day, I'm confident in my theory. Because I passed fifth time, I know all the questions. <laughs> but literally, um, I haven't done my theory in such a long time. Um, I haven't even touched one question in like two years. But I'm sure I'll get it because at the end of the day, I can drive. Not legally, but I can drive. And <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I'm going to win. And yeah, if I lose, then I lose. But if I win, that's £50 in my pocket. <laughs> Cha-ching! <laughs> so at the end of round one, Georgina, you have zero points e. lola you have zero points leon you have four points <laughs> Sawa, you have four points and muz the only person here who's got a driving license has zero points so we are going to go to sudden death leon and sarah you're not involved in this you guys are safe oh fastest voice first. Ooh. Oh. How can you use your vehicle's engine to control your speed? Is it A, by changing to a lower gear, B, by changing to a higher gear, C, by selecting neutral, or D, by selecting reverse gear? Go. A. Cheers. Okay. It's okay. Georgina, you are safe. So, sudden death, Lola and Muz. Are you ready? Why are vehicle mirrors often slightly curved or convex? Is it A, they make it easier to judge the speed of the traffic behind? Is it B, they make the traffic behind look bigger? Is it C, they give a wider field of vision? Or is it D, they totally cover your blind spots? Go! Bang! Most, most condolences, my yes. friend, condolences. Yeah, you have a kids. license. What, what happened? What went wrong, man? Uh, it was just nerves, really. I don't know what nerves. happened. Nerves? Yeah, pff, got it. I didn't even pass the first round. It's quite shocking, to be honest, but uh, these things happen. Um, also, I did say I was ready, but I guess I wasn't. So next time I will revise <laughs> before I come to one of these things. But yeah, it's been good. Enjoyed it. And I uh, wish the rest of the contestants all the best. Yeah, I'm planning to start my um, driving lessons this summer and to do my theory test this summer as well. And I want to start driving as soon as possible. I'm not feeling that confident, but I'm just going to see where this goes and try my best and see maybe I could win. And um, yeah. Welcome to round two. This round is called Road Signs. I'm going to show the contestants a picture of a road sign. And the first one to shout out what it is gets a point. At the end of the round, whoever's got the least points again will be eliminated. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready for road sign one? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. National speed limit. <laughs> National speed limit. Leon got it. Leon got it. Okay. Road sign number two. Ready? Three, two, one. End of 30, End of 30 miles per hour. Yeah. Georgina's got that one. End of 30 miles per hour, minimum speed limit. Okay. Ready for the next one. This one is super hard. This is probably the hardest question in the whole quiz. If you get this one, you probably deserve two points, but I'm only going to give you one. Three, two, one. Oh, countdown down markers. That's 100 markers. That's like eight markers. Countdown down markers to the end of the dual carriageway. For what? End of the motorway. No. Countdown down markers for? End of dual carriageway. No. The gate. The barrier gates for trains going past. Oh, no, no, no. The crossing, level crossing. Is that level crossing? crossing? Level crossing. Yeah, level crossing. Yeah. Damn, level two crossing. points to Georgina. <laughs> you said we'll get one. Ring, Countdown yeah. markers for no, two, points, two points in total. Yeah. Someone's been using the four in one app for sure. <laughs>
Next road sign. Three, two, one. End, 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 end. No stopping, no stopping, clearway, no stopping. No entry. Clearway, no, no stopping. It's not no stopping. What, what is, is it? Is it then? Restrictions apply? Oh. Is it? No. No, no entry. What did you say? The waiting restrictions apply. Oh, so close. End of waiting restrictions. No. Has it got end something of... to do with waiting? Oh, might do. <laughs> might do, might do. <laughs> it, might, it means it does, it means it does. No, no waiting. waiting. Oh, you both said it at the same time. One point to Sarah and another point to Georgina. No waiting. These ones are hard now, right? This is a hard. You have to actually be a driver to know these ones, right? <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Tram, tram 30 miles per hour. Yeah, Tram 30 miles per hour. Leon has a point. I'm really sorry, Lola. Yeah. You've oh, made it to round two, which is an amazing achievement, <laughs> but that's the end. Um, considering that I've never seen any um, learning theory stuff, this is, I'm glad that I like, went through the first round and that I've been eliminated in the second round. And from now on, this summer, I'm planning to take my theory test. So hopefully I'll improve on my knowledge. And maybe I could come back again and win maybe this time. I'm going to play. Hopefully I'm going to win. OK, guys, welcome to round three. On the 4-in-1 app, there is a road signs game. You have to get points for spotting and answering correctly which road signs which. Leon's going to go first. How do you think you're going to do? I think I'm going to be all right. OK. I'm going to be all right. Let's go. Let's go. Collect the road signs and avoid the traffic. Ah, here we go. What does this sign mean? No, oh, what does it mean? Okay, right. Information fog warning. Interested. Okay. 7,350 points with a damage score of 10%. Well done, Leon. Thank you very much. We don't know whether that's good or bad because you're the only person who's played. <laughs> Let's go and get contestant number two. Let's bring them on. Our second contestant is Sarah. <laughs> and she's going to play the exact same game that Leon just did and try and get more points. Yes. Shouldn't be too hard, right? No, I've done it quite a few times. So OK. Oh, you've yeah. played this game before? Yeah, because I have the app, so I've done it quite a few times to just remember like the road signs. It's really good stuff, to remember so. the road signs. So yeah. I'm going to let you play up to the checkpoint okay. and then note down what score you've got. OK. OK, over yeah. to you. Undertaking again. Okay. Yeah, checkpoint reached. Yeah. Twenty thousand one hundred damage. Ten percent. What? <laughs> Twenty thousand one hundred points. You know she's played this before. That was amazing. Let's see if anyone can beat that. Okay. Lastly, we've got Georgina to play the road signs game. You're not going to beat Sarah's score. She's been practicing this for months. You've got to beat 7,300, OK? You're going to play it to the checkpoint. Let's see how you get on. Hit play. Ten thousand three hundred fifty. Ten thousand three hundred fifty points. That's awesome. So you know what that means, don't you? I'm what does three. that mean? I'm three. three to the next round. Yeah. She beat Leon. Go. I'm comfy and I'm sad, man. No, I'm sad. You know what? Screw this. No, I'm joking. But you know what? I made it this far. Obviously, I wanted to get further, but you know what? I got 7,000, who am I kidding? It's fine, I'm not worried at all. You know what, congratulations to Georgia. Good luck, Georgia. Georgina. Georgina, good luck, Georgina. <laughs> good luck. And yeah, it's been a fun day, win. you know. Georgina's gonna win, Georgina's gonna win. <laughs>
Georgina's gonna win. It's coming home for Georgina. It's coming home. <laughs> Welcome to the final round. This is what we call sudden death. Or penalties. It's like penalties. I'm gonna ask you each a question. If you both get the question right, we'll move on. That's why it's like penalties. Then, if you both get the question wrong, we'll move on. But if one of you gets the question right and one of you gets the question wrong, then we have a winner for the entire show. Are you ready? Sarah? Yeah. Are you ready, Georgina? Yeah. Not Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> question one, Sarah. Okay. Speed limit yeah. for a car towing a caravan on a dual carriageway. Sixty miles per hour. That is correct. Georgina, what signal should you give when you're going straight ahead at a mini roundabout? Left signal. We well, don't give a signal. I'm gonna have to take your should I take your first answer? Should I take your first answer? Should I take your first answer? Yeah. Okay, adjudicator, come on. So the adjudicator okay. is on the premises. The adjudicator is on the case. Georgina gave her first answer as turn left. No, 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 she said. No signal. She corrected herself in time, or is that elimination? Okay, uh, look, I really want to give it to you, but on TV, <laughs> they're taking this answer. Sarah is the winner. Everyone, guys, well Yay! done. <laughs> Georgina, I'm really sorry. Thank you so much for coming down to play with us in our first Big Fat Theory quiz. Maybe next time you can win too. Okay. Well done, Sarah. Let's get a couple of words with Sarah. Roll VT. Um, it kind of solidifies the knowledge that I learned from doing the theory test, and then it kind of just shows that it kind of works. And uh, yeah, I rec definitely recommend using the 4-in-1 app. It's definitely the best app that I think I've ever used, because uh, I used to have other apps, but then that one literally just came out on top and it just showed everything that I needed for the exam. So yeah, I'm very happy that one. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. What are you going to do with your money? Um, I'm probably going to spend it on my son, not even on me, because he, yeah, I want to get him things because his birthday, well, we have, our birthdays are a few days apart, but it's his birthday first, so I'd treat him for his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well done. Thank really you. Well you did it? Yeah. You won our first ever <laughs> Big Fat Theory quiz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's got the 50 pound then? What? Georgina? Did you 